The SAOA. 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 The SAOA. SAOA. The SAOA. 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 Because. Because. Because it's the right call. 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 I was always involved in athletics growing up and I was very fortunate that I had the opportunity to play minor league baseball for two years. After I was not playing baseball any longer, I, I noticed that uh, I needed some fitness in my life and that's when I decided to start officiating basketball. I started my officiating career when I was 16 years old in high school, working recreation level ball. And when I became 18, I signed up and registered for the NCHSAA and the SAO. I started in 2007 after graduating college, just looking for a way to stay active in the game. Uh, the view job would be able would allow me to coach or play. So next best thing. I actually started my officiating career while I was still playing ball in high school. I did little league ball as a way to earn some extra money, and kind of took off from there. There's nothing I don't like about high school officiating. I like watching the student athletes. I like watching them grow and learn. I like the sportsmanship. I like the fans, even though they get, you know, rowdy, sometimes it's always in support and enthusiasm for their teams. I like the camaraderie of officials. I like it. it's a family. That's an unexpected um, benefit to being an official. I, I love sports and I love people, and so officiating allows me, I love the rules of the game too. So all three of those allow me to enjoy the things I like most in life. I like that the athletes are still they have this great desire to be there and the enthusiasm to be there and that's what I had when I was in high school. High school sports meant everything to me and I want to be around that that desire to play and to make myself better. Well, officiating high school sports, first of all, you got to have um, integrity. you got to enjoy the game. You have to know the game. I think that you have to understand that every game is a big game and once you go in with that mindset, um, you're going to be successful because you're going to want to know all the rules. You're going to want to be in the right position. You're want, going to want to be in the best shape you can possibly be to give your best to the game. Your confidence, uh, your poise in critical instances of a real tight game uh, really, I think, dictate uh, you know, the real key to one success. Knowledge. Know the rules. Don't think that you're going to remember them study them every year. Um, have good self-respect and respect for others. Responsibility and diligence and I think that the, that's huge. Well number one you still have to be an athlete. We may be older but you've got to be in good physical shape in order to uh, give your best to the game. You also have to understand that the game's not about you so you've got to be a good communicator because people are going to be excited if you can communicate and diffuse tough situations you'll be a good official. You should begin officiating high school sports. If, if you enjoy athletics, if you want to be involved a little bit more than just being a spectator, and also if you just want to have a better knowledge of the rules. Interestingly enough, I met my wife officiating, so I made the right call. I want you to come be a part of our team. It's like no other team that you'll ever be a part of. You may have been an athlete, you may be an athlete now, but if you come and put on the stripes, It'll be a team you'll never, ever regret being a part of. Yes, because it's the right call.